this, or maybe we can get some actual motion blur. Half a second at F11. Let's see what happens. That's kind of nice. It's just after 9.15 p.m. on June 21st, the summer solstice here in Minneapolis. And I'm just sort of out and about in my neighborhood here. Um, I've started walking my dog around this time of night just because it's less hot and I keep noticing that the light's really beautiful and the street, are so, the street is so quiet. Totally gone. Yeah, just a little light in the distance. Tiniest little streak of that car. Not sure it works. It's kind of cool. I'm not sure if it really works. Here comes the Ecuadorian Express, though. Per, that's pretty good. Nice streak across the frame there. Here comes somebody else. Police car, no less. Oh, that's nice. The red streak going through. This shot is probably kind of difficult to see on the video cam on the iPhone camera right now. But there's this great little kind of orange light pouring through here. Got a crescent moon and a really bright star. Some bugs kind of doing just enough clouds to make an impression, and then just the highway in the background. So there's a handful of cool little spots and layers going down here. And I think maybe, again, if we can get a car coming down through here, might be a nice two or three second exposure. So we'll see what happens. We're now at F10 and three seconds. I'm just gonna fire this off and see how it goes. Oh, tips for long exposures, by the way. Make sure the stabilizer on your lens is turned off. Buggies, bugs, eating my legs. I'm wait here for a little bit, and if the shot doesn't turn into anything, we're gonna go up a block. If there's a house with a really cool driveway light that just kind of spills out into the street, it's really like bright and orange against the blue, and maybe if their car's still in the driveway. I saw it last night, and it looked really, really cool. Kind of spooky. I wonder if I actually even need to frame this shot so I don't need, so I don't have a tree in the foreground. There's much tree in the foreground. Open it up. Oh yeah. Wow. That made a difference. <laughs> it's again, you can just only hope that we get a, we get a car coming through here. Oh, right on time. That's about it. I think that's it. I think we can just move on from there. Or are we gonna get 
so lucky even to get another one. Let's do a longer exposure here still and see if they come all the way down. Eight seconds starting now. Oh, and they turned into the driveway. Dang. Yeah, that was garbage. All right, moving on. I got this framed up and I like just the shape of that little light coming out the window there. Eight seconds, six, that's F6.4. That's an eight second exposure. But that's doing what I want. Anyway, I don't think that shot really needs us to linger on it. So we'll move on. Just gonna try reframing it a little bit, just a little bit more. Okay, now I'll just try and go get it from directly across the street instead of these, this foreground. Frame it like that. Two second exposure. I wonder if we do need to bring it pretty far back. Pulled back, you know, about eight feet. Just to try and see if this works better, if we actually have, do have more shadow instead of sky. I'm not totally convinced, but it's worth a shot. Nah, didn't happen. Not working. Maybe it actually is working if I just frame out a little more. Just let it let it exist in a pool of dark, let it have a little darkness, and have the whole arc of the light kind of fade out. Or would it even be crazy if I had this thing? Just to kind of light up the foreground here. That got kind of funky. I never even just had to be an uplight. Yeah, because then you get just like the smallest little bit of foreground. With the breeze blowing, looks kind of cool. Here, I think this might be the last thing we try here. And can I just set it? And can I just skim the ground with it too? He says, it was the last thing we were gonna try. No, we're gonna try more things. That's it. That's pretty good. That's it. 